top 10 best Las Vegas neighborhoods. And that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm Damian Barton, her sidekick. And today we're going to be going over the 10 best Las Vegas neighborhoods. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. And if you are thinking about relocating here to the Las Vegas Valley, you can always reach out to me at 702 370 5112. I am a lifelong resident. I've been here for over 30 years and I know every inch of this valley. So let's get started. Las Vegas neighborhoods are most often delineated by master plan communities that dominate the valley. While some established communities like Summerlin have been around for a few decades, others are much newer on the scene and are already making top selling lists. These areas are distinguished by the tremendous number of amenities and conveniences they offer local residents. Because of their sheer size, master plan communities can incorporate extensive recreational amenities like lakes, golf courses, expansive parks with bike paths, and jogging trails. Although there are numerous master plan communities throughout the entire Las Vegas Valley, here are our top 10 neighborhoods, not including Henderson or the North Las Vegas area. Exactly, because then they have their own different neighborhoods that are just as phenomenal as these. We're going over the top 10 best neighborhoods in Las Vegas. And the number one neighborhood, Drummo, I mean, everyone knows it, right? <laughs> is uh, Summerlin. Summerlin. <laughs> Summerlin is the top selling master plan community on the west side of the Las Vegas Valley and was developed in 1990. And it is still growing. Semlin sprawls over 22,500 acres with over 115,000 residents and is also considered by locals as the most fun neighborhood in Las Vegas. Since it's close to Las Vegas staples like Red Rock National Conservation, and shopping centers like Downtown Summerlin, Red Rock Casino, City National Arena, and Las Vegas Ballpark. This community is a favorite among home buyers who want to live within a self-sustaining development that's full of amenities. The 24 different villages of Summerlin also offer a variety of housing styles from traditional single family homes to attached homes with Mediterranean or modern features. Residents also enjoyed the wide selection of amenities such as over 300 community parks, 200 plus miles of community trails, community pools, and clubhouses that provide endless options for entertainment and opportunities to meet your neighbors. Number two, Sky Canyon. While Sky Canyon may not have Summerlin sprawl or central location, this newer master plan community was developed in 2016 and offers something for everyone. Located just northwest of the city, off of the 95 and Sky Canyon Parkway, residents are surrounded by breathtaking mountains and desert scenery. Sky Canyon is known for its welcoming environment, small neighborhood atmosphere, attractive amenities, and community events. Sky Canyon's 1,700 acres includes four thoughtfully planned neighborhood phases, five community parks, a community clubhouse and fitness center, trails, schools, and shops. Sky Canyon Park is where your active lifestyle kicks into action with world-class amenities just out your door. Sky Canyon Park is an inviting 15-acre gathering place and the hub of community activity. Here, you'll also find Sky Center and Sky Fitness. Yeah, and every time I always go over there. And the nice thing about this community, every Thursday they have a farmer's market, which is very nice. And the reason why we chose these communities is, like we said in the beginning, because of the sheer size and the amenities that they have to offer. Um, now, Sky Canyon HOA, I do believe, is like $84 a month, which is pretty, re pretty reasonable. However, if you do live in a gated part of Sky Canyon, you are going to be paying additional fee. Now, 
I've done videos on most of these neighborhoods. So if you want to learn more specifics in the nitty gritty of each of them, you can always go to my website at neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com or just go to my YouTube channel, search Sky Canyon, and you'll see lots of videos on it. Summerlin, psh, I've done numerous videos and so forth of mm -hmm. each of these master plan communities. There are a lot of different master plan communities throughout Las Vegas, but not the sheer size of the ones that we're going to be going over, hence the reason why they're the 10 best neighborhoods. And number three on our list is Desert Shores. And if anyone knows me, I do a lot of videos on Desert Shores as well. We do live in the area, so I had to make at least the top three on the list, right? Mm -hmm. And Desert Shores is a 682 acre master plan community that was built in 1988 by RA Homes and is located on the eastern edge of Summerlin uh, on the west part of the valley. We used to consider this the northwest part of the valley, but you know, things have grown and now it's now the west, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and they have four man-made lakes in this community. Uh, this resort style community has 3,351 homes with 22 different residential districts, including condos, townhomes, and medium priced housing and large custom homes behind private gates. All of the lakefront homes have direct access to the lakes and the option of private docks. Desert Shores has a 400,000 gallon lagoon style swimming pool surrounded by a sand beach, palm trees, and a picnic area with volleyball, basketball, and playground facilities. During the summer, the lagoon is open seven days a week with lifeguards on duty. You can also fish in Desert Shores without a state fishing license, but you must have your Desert Shores Community Association ID card. Residents are allowed up to four guests when fishing. So if anyone knows, oh, isn't it so beautiful? Yes, it We is. like to go walk mm. it and just the ducks. the ducks and the reflection of the buildings on the water. It's just such a beautiful master plan community. And I think it's going to be, in my opinion, is one of the most underrated master plan community in the Las Vegas Valley. Number four, Rhodes Ranch. This is a guard-gated master plan community and golf course developed in 1997 and is located in Spring Valley, Nevada. The Rhodes Ranch community offers 1,330 acres of beautifully landscaped lush greenery and meandering sidewalk trails carefully constructed around the Ted Robinson 18-hole public golf course. Rolling fairways and floral scenery make Rhodes Ranch real estate a highly sought-after neighborhood. The Rhodes Ranch community boasts a 35,000 square foot recreation center known as the R Club and one of the largest outdoor water parks in the Las Vegas Valley known as the Fun Zone. Yeah, and I think that's pretty cool that they have that. I really like the Rhodes Ranch community. The moment you go in through the guard gate, it feels very resorty, mm -hmm. you know, don't mm -hmm. you think? With yeah, all the beautiful palm trees. And then as you go further down, you have the golf course. They have a nice community center. I think it's just a very secluded neighborhood. I really like it. And number five on our list is Southern Highlands, which is a 2,300 acre exclusive master plan community nestled in the southern foothills of the Las Vegas Valley. Developed between 2000 until now, once fully completed, Southern Highlands will have 8,500 homes and 493 acres of non-residential private uses. Located just 10 minutes from the Las Vegas Strip, residents find themselves surrounded by an oasis in the middle of the desert. Acres of parks and trails, local businesses, excellent public and private schools, and prime shopping and dining options are offered in the Southern Highlands community. Housing in Southern Highlands is divided between two very distinct residential areas, the villages and the estates. And this community boasts seven separate parks, including two that are pet friendly. Some of the amenities available in the parks are play areas, open green space, gazebos, water features, tennis courts, basketball courts, baseball fields, and miles of walking paths that meander throughout the community. Southern Highlands Golf Club is one of only four world-renowned golf clubs designed by the late Robert Trent Jr. Sr. and his son, Robert Trent Jr. Mm, yeah. Yeah, and you know, we recently toured and done a video on Southern Highlands and it's actually very big and and it doesn't feel like you're in Las Vegas either because of just it's just like 
in the south region of the valley, right? Mm -hmm, Exactly. Now let's go to number six. Mountain's Edge is a 3,000-acre master plan community located in the southwest part of the Las Vegas Valley. This award-winning community was developed by the Focus Commercial Group and has been consistently ranked in the top 10 selling master plan communities nationally. It claimed the number one spot for four years. This community is comprised of more than 22 neighborhoods and subdivisions with over 12,000 home sites and was developed between 2004 to present. It is important to mention that the Mountain's Edge community is home to one of the largest parks in the Las Vegas Valley, known as the Exploration Peak and Exploration Park. The Exploration Peak, as its name suggests, is the tallest spot in the mountains. Although Mountain's Edge has been around for 19 years, builders are still adding new homes to the neighborhood which means there are a range of home styles to choose from, featuring Mediterranean and modern designs, in addition to new construction homes. The community also features over 500 acres of open space, parks and trail systems, making it easy for residents to be active. Yeah, and that's another offbeat community. It's technically kind of like off of Blue Diamond Road um, in the southwest part of the Las Vegas Valley. They have some great parks there as well, and their parks down in Mountain's Edge are edge is huge. Mm-hmm. You remember how big those parks were? And they actually have some really cool parks in Mountain's Edge. Number seven is The Lakes, which is a two-square-mile master plan community in the west side of the Las Vegas Valley and was built from the mid-80s to the mid-90s. And residents enjoy mature green belts, a man-made lake, well-maintained walking trails, and a wide variety of water sports. The centerpiece of the community and its namesake is a large man-made lake called Lake Sahara, which is 10 miles long and is popular for fishing and boating for residents. It was originally planned to have two man-made lakes, but was down scope to only one. The lakes is a mix of gated and non-gated subdivisions with single family homes and condos, while some of the homes are lakefront condos and estates. There are also commercial areas and offices in this community. It has a dense suburban feel and many young professionals live there. Most residents own their homes and the public schools are above average. So the nice thing about lakes, of course, you have that beautiful one man-made lake and there's a bunch of little ponds scattered Mm. throughout the community. It's very cute because on each side of the road, there's a pond and another pond with beautiful ducks and Fowl, I guess mm-hmm. you call them fowl, right? <laughs> um, all around it. So it's a it's a nice older community here in the Las Vegas Valley. And it has a great location too because like it's by the Sahara area and there's a lot of going on. In that yeah, area. it's centrally located. Mm-hmm. It's like uh, almost Summerlin, but not Summerlin. A lot of people think it's Summerlin, but it's not. It's right off of Sahara. It's super close to downtown Summerlin. Mm-hmm. Number eight, Sunstone is a newer 630-acre master plan community developed in 2021 in the northwest part of the Las Vegas Valley. It's located off of U.S. Highway 95 and Kyle Canyon Road. Once fully built out, Sunstone will be home to 10 different neighborhoods and 3,650 new luxury homes, which will include attached townhomes, single-family homes, and an age-qualified community for 55-plus that will include an amenity-rich resort club, buyers at every stage of life will be able to find their place at Sunstone. Builders in Sunstone are Lennar Homes, Shea Homes, and Woodside Homes. And sprinkled throughout the master plan community, you'll find a variety of amenities that range from bike trails and pump tracks to walking trails and parks. Sunstone is a good choice for families and those seeking an active lifestyle. It's close to Red Rock Canyon, Mount Charleston, and Lee Canyon. Yeah, Sunstone is a newer up-and-coming master plan community in the northwest part of the valley. A lot of people like it because of the super close proximity to Mount Charleston. And also, it's not fully built out yet, so not all the parks are completed. But once it's completed, it's going to be an awesome community. And number nine is Los Prados. And Los Prados is a picturesque 430-acre 
guard-gated golf community located in the northwest part of the Las Vegas Valley and was developed between 1986 to 2001. Los Prados has a total of 21 separate villages that include both single-family neighborhoods and four 55-plus age-restricted neighborhoods. This community is comprised of 1,358 homes that is surrounded by the Los Prados Golf Course, and these homes range from townhomes to one- and two-story single-family homes. Amenities in this community include a large clubhouse, two outdoor pools, and two lighted tennis courts. I like this community. The one time I was doing a neighborhood drive through tour of this community, Damien wasn't with me, but my friend Joey was, and it was October, and it was a lively community. People were golfing. People were in the pool in October, mm. and they people were just, like, having a good old time. So it's uh, even though it's an older um, community, it's still very nice. That's a good vibe. Yeah. And last on our list, Spanish Trail. And this is one of the earliest guard-gated golf course communities in Las Vegas, Nevada. Its home and Spanish trails date back to the mid-1980s through the 1990s and is one of the most well-known communities in all of the Las Vegas Valley. Spanish Trail is located on over 640 acres with 1,252 single-family homes and townhomes and 12 separate neighborhoods and subdivisions. Homes in this community range in size from 1,157 square feet to 16,649 square feet of living space. The upscale community surrounds the Spanish Trail Country Club and Golf Course, and many of the homes in Spanish Trail boast spectacular views of the golf course. The 50,000 square foot Spanish Trail Clubhouse offers members a vast array of outstanding amenities, social activities, and services. The club features a state-of-the-art fitness facility, two swimming pool pavilions with spas, 12 lighted tennis courts, and several members-only special event spaces throughout the clubhouse. Yeah, and this is also another interesting community. This one in its heyday was a very exclusive community. There's quite a few semi-custom and custom-built homes on top of the single-family homes and townhomes. These houses are mansions. They're super huge, and a lot of them have spectacular views of the golf course. Um, we thoroughly enjoyed touring this uh, master plan community. Mm. Yeah. So as you can see, Las Vegas has a lot of different master plan communities for you to choose from. Some are smaller, while others are quite large, like Summerlin. Uh, however, it just depends on where you want to be located in the Las Vegas Valley and what type of amenities that you are looking for. Pretty much all of these master plan communities has everything you need. Um, I, I don't know what else you could add to it because I think they're just awesome, right? Right. That's why they're our top 10. <laughs> they're our top 10. Now, there are other, again, master plan communities throughout the Las Vegas Valley, um, as I mentioned, but they're not the sheer size as these awesome 10 master plan communities. Let us know in the comments if you live in any of these communities or what your favorite one is, right? Yeah, please. Obviously, you know. I do a lot of videos on Summerlin, and Summerlin is my number one choice just because of its sheer size. And number two for me would be Desert Shores. Exactly. And if you want to go on a deeper dive in any of the communities that we have mentioned here today, uh, please go to uh, Angela's website at neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com, uh, and um, you'll be able to find more. Links in the description. Yeah, definitely. I have um, every information that you need to know, even the homes that are listed for sale in all of these communities. I've also attached a link to the blog post in the description below. That way you can pull it up a lot faster, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Most importantly, if you are thinking about relocating to Las Vegas, you need to reach out to me and call me at... 702-370-5112. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel because I like to talk a lot about all the neighborhoods that this awesome Las Vegas Valley has to offer. Thank you guys so much for watching and we can't wait to see you on the next one.